War and terrorism both refer to the notion of collective violence. War is, however, an older and better defined term in which both sides acknowledge that they are at war. Few, on the other hand, describe their methods as terrorism, a term which is very much charged with emotion. Terrorism is often used to describe what other people do and is used to delegitimize and discredit the opposing side. The issue of how to define terrorism has vexed the international community for decades and no consensus has yet been reached. The disagreement over its definition is largely between developed states and developing states as to the characterization of individuals as terrorists or freedom fighters. Immediately after the 9-11 attacks, the General Assembly created a working group to develop a comprehensive convention on international terrorism. However, it has been left in its drafting stage as many developing states wanted to exclude struggles for liberation and self-determination from their purview. The working group nearly reached a consensus on the following definition. Terrorism is an act intended to cause death or serious bodily injury to any person, or serious damage to a state or government facility, a public transportation system, communication system, or infrastructure facility. When the purpose of such an act by its nature or context is to intimidate a population, or to compel a government or an international organization to do or abstain from doing an act. However, Malaysia, on behalf of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, wanted the following caveat added. People's struggle, including armed struggle against foreign occupation, aggression, colonialism, and hegemony aimed at liberation and self-determination in accordance with the principles of international law should not be considered a terrorist crime. Meanwhile, Western states have used the rhetoric of terrorism to delegitimize certain actions as wrongful, at the same time characterizing any counter-terrorism efforts as a war of good against evil. But this ends up shutting down any worthwhile debate on policy or tactics. An added difficulty is the fact that operations with the intention of stopping terrorist activities have been known to violate basic legal restraints themselves, subjecting prisoners to mistreatment or torture. This also counterproductively can contribute to the growth of a terrorist campaign against the government committing such acts. There is still no accepted definition of terrorism today, and this issue continues to impact the entire counter-terrorism regime.